What's up, y'all little knuckleheads? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play a little we're gonna play some Doom. Play a little bit of the old Doom game. Hmm. Last time on Doom. I can't remember. You'll find the Helix Stone in Olivia's private archival lab deep within this facility. Few have ever seen the stone. But if you came to us for a reason, you might be able to see something in it we haven't. I guess we're trying to find a stone. Uh, basically, I'm going to kill some demons. I'm, pl I'm trying to play this extremely in character and r not caring about the story at all. Hi Alice, I'm good. How are you? It is not a mistake that he has come into our possession. The demons prophesized his return. If he awakes, it could jeopardize the entire mission. For he is the only one who can stand against them. Hello. I am the only one who can stand against them. Thank you for recognizing my potential. Siphon grenade. How do we swap those again? Jeez, I missed it. The siphon grenade does something. The siphon grenade was designed to work with the Doom Marine's Praetor suit, specifically to make use of the Argent receptors found in the gloves and chest plates. The grenade has three stages. When primed, the grenade releases a positively charged particle field around itself in the operator's hand. Then when the grenade is released and explodes, it releases a negatively charged particle field over a distance of a few meters. The negatively charged particles attract Argent plasma from any demon caught in the radius, tearing plasma from their cells. Finally, the positively charged Praetor suit then attracts the negatively charged Argent cloud and gathers the plasma and siphons the energy back to the suit partially. Okay, so it's grenades that turn enemies into healing goo. That would have been a much more succinct explanation. What up, guys? You're being knuckleheads. I guess we should try this grenade. Can't remember how to grenade though. Uh, I can't really see the benefit of that. Maybe in places where I take lots of damage that might be useful. But let's just go back to the frag grenade. I'm, I, I like the classics. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just having the webcam on. Just felt like it recently. Oh, yeah. Hello. Ow. Okay, we're in kind of a bad position here. That was bad. Let's try and focus. I'm actually quite low on ammo. Maybe I should pick up all this ammo. Excuse me. Rude. I was so bored yesterday, the whole day seems to drag on forever. I think that's typical Tuesday feels. Hello, Zach. Hanging pretty well. I'm hanging on. And also hanging tight. How are you hanging? Do 
Of course, it is Wednesday, my dudes, so I am very... I'm very midweek tired. But uh, technically, it's... Technically, it's Thursday for me, considering it's the Easter weekend. So I don't have to work on Friday or Monday, as I loudly celebrated on the last stream. Oh shit, we should probably pick that up quick. Get as much of this haste as I can. This isn't as useful as it seems. Severely hoping. Oh shit, we're gonna die. Whoop. I've been thinking a lot. Like, I know I've been talking about it for weeks now, but I've had Metal Gear on the brain for a long time and it's really starting to bother me, so I might have to play it. I'm considering either doing it on stream or making a video of it. Because I haven't actually tried making a proper video in a very long time. Any previous evidence of that has been lost to time. But it could be cool to try again. Oops, excuse me. Vermintide 2 is consuming a lot of my free time. I've seen a lot about that game, it looks super interesting. We might have talked about it on the stream previously, I can't remember. It's basically like, it's Left 4 Dead, but in the old Warhammer... ...universe, right? Like, not Warhammer 40k, but the fantasy Warhammer. I... am extremely... ignorant of Warhammer. I've never, like, played any of the... any of the miniature games. You know, I haven't played any Warhammer games ever, really. But that still doesn't stop me from going to the wiki every once in a while. Because the... The Warhammer universe is super detailed and interesting, even if you don't play it. excited you are about the extra long weekend. I value my free time very highly. Very highly. There might be nothing else in the world I value higher than my free time. Extremely important. The flashes and explosions and shotgun shots from your monitor are reflecting on your face and the webcam gives a sort of serial killer vibe. That's exactly what I was going for. There, this live stream is just a cover. I'm not actually playing this game. It's, um, I'm actually murdering people as we speak. And, uh, I'm using the video game as a disguise. So you won't mistake the muzzle flashes for what they truly are. Secret! Don't know what I just picked up. Okay. We should probably look at our upgrades, actually, now that I think about it. What weapons upgrades do we have? Oh wow, we've got a lot of points. Wow, we got a lot of weapon points.
20 direct hits on imps with the explosive shot. That's fairly easy, I think. It'd be cool to see you play Metal Gear. I'm not terribly familiar with it. It is. I'd have to play it from, like, the very beginning. <laughs> I'd have to play it from, like, the original 1980s Metal Gear. Olivia activated the hell wave from somewhere inside this facility. I did hope she could rise above their influence. I was wrong. She proved to be weaker than I thought she'd be. Even on easier difficulties, you can die in seconds if you get swarmed and don't know what you're doing. Tough love. It's the only way to design video. A good video game. You need to trust in the player's ability to excel by their own merits. I don't know how useful that really is. I don't know how often you actually need to zoom in. Hey buddy. I think we've got a biggie coming up. The dwarf is smaller with his hitbox and point of view. <laughs> uh, the the odd job technique of character design. So you couldn't let that fly in a PvP game these days because everyone would be like, "The dwarf is too small. I have to aim down." It's like the time splitter's monkey. Oh shit, is this where we're supposed to go? I thought that was a secret. Oh, the cyber demon. Yep. Potential boss coming up. some stuff. The well-known things, generally I've never actually played one myself. I mean, there's, with Metal Gear, there's like the memes. Every single game has some kind of hilarious in-joke attached to it that pretty much everyone has heard. And it's those moments that I just love to re-experience. Doom guy doesn't have a very good throwing arm. Okay, hang on a second. I was promised a cyber demon. Where's my cyber demon? YouTube. Even in the distant future. 
YouTube are agents of Satan. And we're back here. Okay. Use the overcharge ability with the plasma rifle to damage shield dudes. Very useful. Any more hints you can give me about the shield guys, please give me. Because I hate them. Oh, speak of the devil. Here's the actual devil. Yeah, they're just annoying. Do you guys have any opinions on what I should play? I, can, I can't imagine that this is a terribly long game. We probably only have a stream or two of it left, right? How long have we been playing this for now? Not that long. But I mean, we have all the weapons. Surely. Oh. Oi. Just take away my glory kills. Right, we've got a damage power up over there. Which maybe we should use. Oops. Oh god, they're everywhere. Okay. Perhaps now is the time. Don't worry about the boss fight, you'll know when you found it. When you see a room full of ammo with no enemies. Yep, that would that would pretty that would tip me off. Oh, crap. Too trigger happy. Fuck you, shield guy. <laughs> Fuck you, shield guy. I hate you so much. I'm quite sensitive about my neck as well. Now that I think about it, my neck's very exposed. And I hope no one who ever wants to kill me watches my streams. Where I just list a new terrible weakness every every day. Hi guys, it's Thursday, and I have a terrible fear of bamboo shoots being shoved under my fingernails. See you next time. I mean, what's left after the Cyber Demon? Well, I've pretty much gone through the, the pantheon of Doom enemies. Icon of Sin. Well, oh, I want to BFG this. How do I? I can't remember how to BFG actually, so maybe I won't. How do I do it? How do I BFG? Shit! Someone remind me how to BFG. <laughs> it's T. Okay, I got it. We won't, though. There's not enough enemies here. Although they are tearing my my shit apart. Awful. He 
need to get these direct imp hits. Oops. Oh well. Okay, no. There's got to be an achievement for seeing all of the uh, glory kills, right? Not that I care about achievements. Much. We know all your weaknesses now. Don't worry, though. I promise to use my knowledge only for good. I don't see how that knowledge can possibly be used for good. Unless you plan on uh, protecting me from my would-be assassins, which I heartily endorse. In original Doom, the final boss was Spider Demon. Yes, I remember. Thank you. John Romero is the final boss. And we got a we got an elevator cutscene. Kadun Masimedna, Cryos in Lidma, in Mat Dilak, Creon High, Olin Divinu. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Try our luxurious timeshare in the ninth circle of hell. Okay. You gotta shoot the angry lumpy doggo monster in the spine, remember? Yes. I was just having trouble with my accuracy. I was having so much trouble with my accuracy that I was trying to shoot its back and I was shooting it in the face. And it was. I like how there's a split second when I pull the guns up when they aren't fully loaded. And like they have they take a second for the textures to become unblurry before loading all the way. Oh. Who's this handsome fella? Olivia is in cahoots with DeviantArt fanfiction reader guy. <laughs> Alright, that's the BFG, isn't it? Am I full on ammo? Nice. He just wanted to share his Doom Guy X Caco Demon erotic fanfic with Olivia. Manual security activated. All terminals now accessible. Oh, hang on. Fucking. My chat window always does this. It, like, doesn't auto scroll all of a sudden, or it scrolls up on its own. Haunted. Exactly, I'll spread misinformation to lead your enemies astray. Joe's neck? Don't bother attacking that, it's his most powerful quality. Yes, my lean, muscular neck. The Hell Key. The Crucible. 
Yes, that, that's, that's what I meant. What she was looking for. Vega, did you get the location? Yes. It is located in an uncharted region of the Titan's realm. But we need to rupture another Argent accumulator to create the portal. The only accumulator in this sector is in specimen CD-587. The Cyber Demon. <laughs> You're going to have to remove it. Once you've extracted the accumulator, it will become unstable. The ruptured casing should cause a rift strong enough to send you back to their world. We can determine your point of entry using the tether system I uploaded to your suit. Retrieving the crucible is critical. Without it, we have no way of shutting down the well and closing the hell portal here on Mars. Okie dokie. And now demons. Miss. Terrible miss. Oi! Rude. You could try Wolf Among Us. You seem to have it in your library with no playtime. Yeah. It's one of, that's one of the games I bought in a Steam sale and have never gotten around to playing, and that is actually a pretty good idea. I just might do that. I do always wish I'd been able to stream the original Walking Dead game. Which, as I may have mentioned on the last stream, is one of the only games to have ever actually made me break down and cry like a baby. Enough of this shield bullshit. Not enough. Oh, a sword. Can I pick up the sword? That would be fun. <laughs> All in the name of science. Getting uh, event horizon vibes from this. We're gonna go into the next room and see holograms of people having mass orgies and ripping out their own eyes. Huh? Oh. Oh well, maybe. How's that a secret? You can clearly see it from above. I always remember the Wolf Among Us uh, from the, the one clip I've seen of someone playing it. And it's when an option is like you're talking to someone in a bar and the option, you have like a dialogue option which is glass him. Which obviously means hit him with the glass. And the guy playing it thought it meant give him a drink for some reason. <laughs> so he selects it because he wants to be nice and give the guy a drink and he just like fucking slams a highball into his skull. Hilarious.
Yes, it's a demonic sacrifice, but it's a demonic sacrifice to prove a scientific theory. <laughs> This is how atheism works. Oh! Please understand, I'm a high functioning atheist. <laughs> Oh god, okay, this is terrible. Too risky. Enemies you have staggered like that in a in a tight radius, the more you should be able to glory kill at once for greater rewards. In my humble opinion. Warning. Containment breach. I would have thought the sinew growing out of the walls would have been a pretty good indicator of that, but. This hellway will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Cadenger Sanctum for this reason. I knew she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks, and I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. Okay guys, so we're scientists on Mars. How do we save the world? How do we further the cause of science benefiting mankind? Hellwave. Okay, that was anticlimactic. That's what Outlast, if you want a more horror-oriented horror game. I also heard good things from Valiant Hearts, though I never played it. Which one is Valiant Hearts? It's kind of interesting thing about those dominant recessive things I've been talking about, the way they were first discovered by a monk. I did not know that. That's cool. Did the monk summon a hellwave? Seems like that's the only way to get anything done in the scientific community these days. and games that have zero playtime but high user ratings. There's going to be a lot of those. Or a lot of games with zero playtime anyway. For the reasons I have spoken about. Oh no, we're going this way. How ominous. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. <coughs> Hello. Oh, we're back here. Or in a different room. Uh, 
Nope, too high. That'll do. <laughs> Damage boost and haste. What a complete waste. What a waste of haste. He's hungry. Oh god. Oh god. Terrible way. Yeah, we did it. Cluster strike. Let's try it out. Okay. Maybe we'll save that for later. Health. Health. Oh shit! Bad. I don't think he summoned much more than better looking peas and prettier pea plant flowers. What a guy. What a monk. I'm still trying to reload my guns. be the only way to pursue science and math was by joining the priesthood because they were the only people with enough education resources and free time to study them. <laughs> Makes sense. Once the crucible is in your possession, we will pull you out. Hmm. Codex entry, cyber demon, room full of ammo. Room full of health. Hmm. Weird. How highly unusual. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the BFG isn't gonna work on this guy. Hi. Oh, he's actually got a, he's got a health bar. Holy shit. Right, I've forgotten how to BFG again. I was literally five seconds ago that I figured this out. Fucking MMO markers. Uh, 
Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. How do we, how do we BFG? I figured it out five seconds ago. Come on. There we go. I'll just take all of this if you don't mind. And there we go. Power of hell compels you. Oh shit. I was gonna say that was a little bit of a disappointment. Oh, okay, we're gonna die now. After saying that. We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble! And um, we're dead. Shit! Okay. Maybe we should save the BFG shots. Or not, because there's a checkpoint here now. There we go. <laughs> that dead enough for you? Shoot it until it dies. Oh. Pro tip. Oh, that makes me happy. We have to remember how to BFG, because I keep forgetting. It's T. G for chainsaw, T for BFG. G, T, BFG. Easy to remember. It's like the last room before meeting Mary at the end of Silent Hill 2 with the wall full of save points. Man, I love Silent Hill 2. The boss got stunned and dropped health on BFG shots. I did not even notice that. I really should have saved some for the second phase. Oh well. Head banging, etc. Mild nodding. I'm so glad they're embracing the the memeified status of Doom at this point. Ooh. Hell's looking a bit dreary. Usually it's quite lively. 
With all of the hell energy leaking out. Second thought, let's not go to hell. It is a silly place. Seen Kaku Demon, there we go. Oh, right in his gob. We briefly jumped into his uvula. Oh! I think we just shot a lost soul into another lost soul. I'm incredibly satisfied. Like a beating heart lying underneath a bloodborne rune. I'm not seeing these cluster bombs. I was promised cluster bombs. There we go, that looked more clustery. It's gotta be a direct hit, hasn't it? their gumball eyes out left, right, and center. I hear demons, but I don't see demons. That'll be you, then. Excuse me. I'll just take that. It's good. And good for you. See that? So many rockets! Where are the demons?
Hello. Oops. Did that stick to him? Are those sticky grenades? And if so, have I gone this whole game without realizing that? Ow. Oh, come on. Ooh, eviscerated with his own teeth. I approve. <laughs> um, okay. Excuse me, just gonna move around you here. Okay, resume. God, leave me alone. Is it possible for your own rockets to kill you? Doesn't seem that way. I think one of the upgrades I got actually prevented that, didn't it? Or, like, lessened the damage. I'm not even noticing any. From my own explosions. Where are the demons? There's got to be like a some kind of stat tracker in this game that tracks the number of hearts you fed to the owners of said heart. I would like to see that number. I'd like to see that number very much. Oh, it's a map thingy. The hell is this? Oh. So many weapon upgrades. Incendiary rounds. Get five kills in five seconds. Easy enough. Yeah, my new Jeff Rosenstock album bundle just showed up. You enjoy that. I'm waiting on a delivery of, um, three Wii U games. And... Oh, I actually do have to zoom in. And one Wii game. 
I actually just bought a Wii U recently. My friend was getting rid of theirs and I never actually got around to buying a Wii U. So I thought this would be a good chance to do it because they gave me like a, a bit of a discount. And I figure shit's going to get expensive before too long. I need more ammo. Excuse me a second. Don't kill me. There we go. Easy. <laughs> And I want to prepare myself because I'm, I'm finally going to buy a uh, a Nintendo Switch. So I need to catch up on the I need to catch up on Nintendo in general, basically, seeing as I haven't really kept up with them since the GameCube. In all honesty, the games for the Wii U I'm getting are Super Mario 3D World. Keep in mind, I haven't played any Wii U games, so I'm kind of starting with the basics here. Uh, Smash Bros. Wii U. And... F uh, I think it's New Super Mario Bros. U. Just like, you know, the Nintendo First Party Essentials. I need a blue key, right? Where blue key? so cool. Oh my god, how many of those have I missed? That's depressing. What do demons shave with? A Hellraiser. No. <laughs> you are- Zach, you are now in timeout. Or rather, I am, because I'm lost. Should I have a blue key for this? What am I doing wrong? What am I missing here? It came through the teleporter. Missing. Local man can't even beat first person shooter designed to be as uncomplicated as possible. And when Doom Guy picks up the plushies, his animations are actually different. What are we talking here? Oh, okay. That's probably it then. Not the skull I was looking for, but the one I'll take. Um. Oh. Okay. What a horrifying trap. You almost got me. 
Ow. Poison. Turns out blight damage is just as annoying in Doom as it is in Darkest Dungeon. interacts differently with it each time you pick one up. I hope I find more then. Because that time it- didn't he just like look at it this time? He just kind of turned it over a few times. Does he like play with it or something? <laughs> Oh god, oh god. I think he's actually quite terrifying when he charges. Hello, baby. More health for me. Oh, he is actually called Pinky as well. Okay. Mean. That's a big trick. Come on, into the trap. Ah. I'm glad the shirt fits. Usually have to just wear over large guys' shirts. That's a good look, though. The baggy look. I'm a fan. Comfort over style any day. Although, obviously, I pull off both, effortlessly. Hey! Oh my god! I wasn't anywhere near it! Oh man. That sucks. Don't tell anyone that happened. That's just embarrassing. Oh, we're all the way back here. I 
I did still get the secret, right? It's gone, so I hope so. That was so stupid. I got bamboozled. <laughs> Tell anyone what happened exactly. The game obviously crashed or something, and we have to do this part over again, and that's all that happened. We're staying away from the big crunchy stone. For no particular reason. Okay. Nothing embarrassing happened. Ever. A suspiciously large number of power ups in this room. Momentum shift. Don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's good. I'm sure you'd look as fetching in the girl's shirt as well as any of the guy's shirts. I could- I could probably rock that look. Let's be honest. What the hell are these? Invisipinkies. Or if they're supposed to be invisible, they just kind of look black. Spectre. Poorly timed. Hello. The patented hell raspberry crusher. Cranberry crusher. We know that hell loves cranberries. Crancon 2018 is going to be held in the uh, fourth circle of hell.
because the third, second, and first circles are all being reserved for uh, PonyCon. Crancon Hades 2018, I'm so there. Exactly. Ooh. Deviant art time. Just go to sleep to this. As long as, as long as the Titan was routed, as long as we routed him. I got worried there when they said that some, something was, something came along that was mightier than everything before it. That's bad for my reputation. I am the mightiest. Berserker! Who's a man and a half? I'm a man and a half! Uh, yes! Just got to him in time. My god, I love that power up so much. I could play through the whole game like that. important. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It'd probably be a bit too small in the shoulders and neck for you and a little big in the chest and hips. What are you trying to say about my chest? Have you know I'm a very buxom lass? I'm gonna make it a short stream tonight, guys. Uh, it's Wednesday and I'm sleepy, that's my excuse. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, Cause I've got a long day tomorrow and then a long weekend and it's gonna be so good. Uh, we're gonna be back on Friday with Darkest Dungeon and we are definitely going into the Darkest Dungeon. I promise, this time, for real. It's actually gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna have a wonderful time. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. All of us will die. And that'll be that. So I'll catch you guys then, have a good rest of your night. Thank you for joining me for this little, this tiny little excursion into the pits of hell. And I will catch you again in a couple of days. See you later!